Hey everybody, the following is an excerpt from the monthly Roto Roundup, and if you'd like to see the rest of the Roundup, you can hit that I up in the top right corner of the screen, or if you'd like to know more about the game, you can follow the link down in the show notes. And with that out of the way, let's talk about Aquatica, the Coral Reefs expansion, which I have not done a run through for, so I am leaning on Tom Vassell and the gang over at the Dice Tower. That's their video right there. Link for it down in the show notes if you'd like to hear what Tom and the gang think of it. I'll tell you right now, they think the same thing as me. They think it's awesome and freaking amazing. Here's the deal, folks. This is one of those expansions. You don't always see this. A lot of times you see an expansion, oh, that's nice. That adds some new flavor to the game. Yeah, I enjoy it, but I can take it or leave it. I'm not saying it's mandatory. This is mandatory. And I confirmed it with my wife when we did her gen jog yesterday. She would never play Aquatica without this expansion now. It adds so much to the experience. It adds like several different things. Some of them are small, like replacing um, you know unique player powers with kings with instead unique player mantas. I could take or leave that. Don't even care about that. Um, some of them are medium, like these really cool little coral miniatures that um, while you are, once you've claimed a location and you're slowly over multiple turns harvesting it for points, during that time, you can grow corals on those tiles to be worth more points. And that's a nice uh, touch. And there's other ways you can get these corals and seed them out. So that's nice. Of course, there's a bunch of new um, cards, new locations, new characters, new objectives, new tribes, If you're because it mixes and matches with the uh, Cold Waters expansion too. Those are all nice. And if that's where they'd stopped, I'd say, oh, it's a nice expansion to have, but you don't need it. But there's one hugely important thing. The coral tiles. As part of Set of Now, this is such a big deal, they, it comes with a completely new board. Well, the nice thing is, everything fits in the main box if you get rid of the insert. I, I can confirm that here, folks. Everything fits. You just got to dump the insert. With this new board, below each um, uh, person card that you could recruit, there is now a coral tile. And so the game has become entwined drafting. When you recruit a new follower of your undersea kingdom, um, oh, sorry, Tom, let me go ahead and go back. You also grab a new coral tile and you install it in one of the five slots where you maintain locations. And now that means whenever you put a location in there or whenever you harvest from a location in there or whenever you score a location or maybe it's whenever you um, put a thing in a, in, a, in a slot next to it, you get various and sundry bonuses. So it adds this whole new depth and complexity of the drafting because now there's entwined drafting. I really want that follower. That power I don't need, and it's going to replace one of my existing ones. Do, what do I do? How, you, know, you, know, you know, entwined drafting is amazing, and it's amazing here. But then these cool powers that give you so much more you can do with those locations now, and so much more to think about. Like I said, I would never want to go back. I would never play without this. Quite frankly, I don't need to keep my original board, which actually I think means you could probably still use the insert if you throw away the original board and just use the new board. Anyway, it's neither here nor there. Long story short, Aquatica was already one of my all-time faves, and this just rockets it higher than it's ever been. I think Aquatica is now just outside of my top 100 games of all time because of this expansion. Uh, the, Cold, uh, the Cold Waters expansion was very cool, introducing tribes and all of that, but if you're only going to get one, get this one. This changes everything. Aquatica Coral Reefs is amazing. And thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference, believe me. But with that out of the way, if you'd like to see some more, over on the left, you can find a playlist of a whole bunch more Rotto Rapid reviews. Up in the top right, there's the latest thing that's been added to the channel. And in the bottom right, you've got something YouTube recommends. Okay, folks, thanks for watching.